Not many flute players have won a Grammy, but Vota Kellerman is one of them who has, in addition to other accolades. He and the Soweto Gospel Choir have collaborated in creating a musical tribute to Nelson Mandela, entitled Symphonic Soweto, and Kriya caught up with Vota for a chat. Using his classical training as a point of departure, Vota Kellerman has made world and roots music his creative focus, crossing cultural boundaries to spread a message of love and fellowship. He's found inspiration in many sources, with Nelson Mandela being one of the most enduring and significant. Kriya met up with Vota at the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory. This is a familiar face that I know, and so nice to see it. Vota Kellerman, how are you? Fantastic, and you, Kriya? Good, thanks. So you're performing here at the exhibition today? Yes, Madiba has been one of my big inspirations in my life, so I've written a few pieces for him. You've also recently just created a brand new album about Nelson Mandela. It's called Symphonic Soweto, a tribute to Nelson Mandela. It's for the centenary, and we've taken some of the music linked to Madiba and linked to Soweto, and we've arranged it for flute, choir, symphony orchestra and guests. My collaborators are the Soweto Gospel Choir. They've been amazing to work with and also the KZN Philharmonic. And then beautiful guests like Anjali Kijo, Zonke. When you say familiar songs from Soweto, what do you mean by that? Well, we've worked very closely with the Nelson Mandela Foundation to choose the struggle songs that Madiba would have liked that will represent the energy of the time but also has a message for us in the future. And then we wrote some new music for Madiba and for Soweto. The album features Vota and the Soweto Gospel Choir reconceptualizing traditional music and freedom songs, as well as compositions by contemporary greats such as Leta Mbetu, Kefas Semenya, Lucky Dube, Brenda Farsi, and Johnny Clegg, among others. The Soweto Gospel Choir is probably one of the most known musical exports that we have in South Africa. How did that collaboration come about? I've always been a great admirer of Soweto Gospel Choir. They've got so much energy, so much spirit. I did a song on my last album with them and just absolutely loved working with them. And then we started talking and we all got together and we decided to make this album. You just won a Sama for this album. That must feel amazing because it's quite special. This is probably the album that I worked the hardest on. It was a very big challenge to bring the Western and African influences and to make it all work. The choir tunes differently than the orchestra and in all the details you have to make it happen. So it was really fantastic to get some recognition for it. And also this year the category was Best Adult Contemporary Album, which is a very competitive category. So very, very grateful. One of the songs on the album also won the USA Songwriting Competition for Best World Music Composition. Wow. So the, the album's making waves already. So through many years of performing music for Nelson Mandela, you may not have met the man, but there's quite an interesting grapevine story. Yes, they asked me to play at Nelson Mandela Day. It was in his honor and I played my solo piece that I wrote for him which paints his life with the colors of the flute and apparently he was in his hospital bed at the time watching. So that's as close as I got. At least he watched me even though I never met him but I would have absolutely loved to, to meet him. The final quarter century of Madiba's life saw him enjoy the love and respect of people around the world but it shouldn't be forgotten that not too many years before he became the first president of a democratic South Africa he was still apartheid's prisoner. What makes this album so special to you? I think Madiba was so amazing coming out of jail for 27 years and forgiving his oppressors that put him there. And he set such an example of tolerance. We wanted to spread his message of peace, love and tolerance. Especially the message of tolerance is so much needed in the world right now. There seems to be a wave of intolerance sweeping the world and I think we have to fight that and really spread the message of tolerance and of being kind and loving to people. Vota, the choir and the musicians found great joy in creating this tribute. And the only sadness they express is that Madiba is not here to enjoy the album in person. But this music is an expression of his vision of global humanism. And surely his spirit would be happy to dance to the melodies, rhythm and harmonies. Mm -hmm. 